Welcome back to the second episode of Fly vs Jerk 14. Today we are going to finish the river day and with 6 hours left to fish, a lot can still happen to this scoreboard. At the moment the 3 points are with 3 different teams. Team Headbanger leads with 16 fish, Team Powerboat Mercury has the biggest pike at 9.19 kilos and Team Diva has collected a whopping 485 centimeters on their top 5 after only 4 hours of fishing. Fly vs Jerk 14 is brought to you by Watski, your online store for boating equipment in the Nordics. Buster Boats, iconic quality boats from Finland. One Boat Network, all together now. Westgear, your boat dealer in Sweden. And Big Pike Boats, premium boats for anglers. Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Fly vs Jerk 14. Me and my friend Anders. Yep. Now it's the river day it's afternoon. The afternoon, day one, second episode. We currently hold the top five point. Currently. Currently, yes. So, yes, but yes. we need to increase those. So yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Really close to the number point and also really close to the big fish point. Yeah. We know there are 10 kilo fish here. Let's Definitely. go for it. Definitely. Yeah. Six hours left. Uh, here we go. Whoa. Boom. Boom. Hello guys, welcome to Fly vs Jerk 14. This is Team Powerboat Mercury, fishing with my super skilled <laughs> pike angler Pasi Taponen. Uh, still the river day, this is the episode 2. We're gonna go for one more approved fish so we can yeah. fill the paper. Then we're gonna, yeah, of course try to get some more and even bigger ones. Yeah, increase the 9.19 kilo Team. fish. Yeah. See you later alligator. Yeah, <laughs> rock and roll. Rock and roll. Let's go, episode two. We need to catch a fish in this episode, I think. I think so too. <laughs> only one, we only need one, but it has to be over 9.9 .9 kilos. Yes, that's easy, isn't it? Yeah, really easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, it's not impossible. It's actually very possible, but the big one just needs to bite because I'm 120% sure it's swimming here. 100%, yes. Yes. Welcome back to CWC Fishing Team. This is episode two. We just had a lunch report and uh, we had some fish to catch, German. We need to step up. But hey, we did a good job in the morning, so just yeah, keep. Yeah, but we, we are in the middle somewhere and, and uh, not far away for the numbers. We are not far away for the big fish and we are not f far away for top five. No. So we are just nagging them. So uh, it's other teams who has, they need to step up. Yeah, but hey, we have no point at the moment. We also. Oh, no, 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 no. But it's only half day. We're fishing a deep eddy here, and uh, we really go for one meter fish. Hopefully if we find it, and uh, if we don't find anything here, we're going up to the spot again to uh, try it once more, because there's more fish there. And if we don't catch anything there, decent fish or something, we need to ramp up and go to more down in the river. Uh, it's more fish here, it's more shallow fishing and, and uh, go for numbers and hopefully catch a big one there too. So we have lots of options actually. First cast after the lunch report. We have a small stretch of the river left to fish and then we're gonna change to a smaller boat. Yeah. Try to catch a big fish, try to catch a lot of fish. Yeah, we will continue with our plan. Uh, like top five was our game plan for today. And we think that we still have a shot of the, both the top five, the big fish and now also the the numbers point. Uh, so yeah, we're we're feeling quite positive. The fish are biting. Weather is good. We're gonna enjoy this nice weather because tomorrow we're gonna have <laughs> some really tough conditions. Welcome back, guys. Episode two. We've got our work cut out for ourselves. Yeah, we're far behind, yeah. but uh, on everything. <laughs> on everything, you know, not far behind on numbers. So we will see. We will spend like an hour to catch a really big one uh, if we can after that I think we will go all in for numbers to secure one point if we can yeah so this is the smartest play yeah the smartest play let's do that yeah come on come on brother let's go welcome to the second episode we just started the fish again nice to hear that some people have caught some fish but it's still an open race we can still catch the heaviest and we still, if we are lucky to get, like to have some strikes, yeah, we can uh, go for five longest, but that will be hard. Uh, I just hope we get the big fish. Yeah. So we're sticking to the plan. Keep casting 
and uh, hopefully we will get that big strike sometime during the day. Yeah. Nice, Alex. We take her directly. Yeah. Just take it easy. Yeah. It's like the same size. Yeah. And my catfish 45 is dead. Yes. Oh, you know, you. Yeah. Like, it's so. I know. When it's competition, like the pulse when the strike comes, it's like a crazy. 91. Nice. 91. Good job, Alex. Nice. Uh, we need three strikes more to yeah. get the big one. But every strike, we're one strike closer. Yeah. It feels like when they take, they take. Like really they... hard. <laughs> but uh, it's a long way between the strikes. She cut me also, and I'm worth it. Now I tried the black one. He caught a fish on the white one. So I'm going to quickly change to the natural perch. Imitates like a small sander or a small perch. And they eat a lot of small sander here, so let's try it. See if we can get some quick strikes now. Close to the bottom. I let it. Uh, it's a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a big one. That's a bigger one. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Outside also. Yep. Yeah. Oof. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Yes! I think one so. big one. Small one. I changed to the natural perch. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a better fish. Ooh. Come on. Yes. Ah, it's a meter fish. I'm, I, I need to cast. Huh. Whew. Damn. The hooks are out. Ooh, it's not over 10. Yes, she is. Okay, maybe. 100 percent yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, she's just. No, it's just the shortest stubby. 101. Uh, one. But she could be over 919. We need to uh, weigh the bag. Yeah. Zero. Okay, zero. But she could be over. 919. No. No. 8.16. Uh, 8.16. Okay, three fish. We're getting closer to that big bite. Every bite we're closing in. Ooh, man, it turns fast in pike fishing. Again on the 35 centimeter for me now, but in the color natural perch. Super strike, super strike. Okay, let's take another one while they're eating. So we switch uh, area, we travel a little bit to downstream. It's uh, a little bit shallower here. There are going to be a few, few like obvious pockets and uh, backwaters down there. But we're going to start fishing from here. So I'm going with actually same fly and uh, with a sink three line. So it's a little bit bigger area to cover here. Just cover some water at the moment. And pretty soon we're going to hit some hot spots and hopefully we can find some big fish from, from those places. But we are switching also to, to trying to catch a good top five now. Our plan from the beginning was that the, the top area was supposed to go quite good in numbers. And then this lower part is going to be better for, for a bigger fish. So we thought that uh, that was the plan, but now the numbers were quite good in a lot of the teams. So we're dropping that completely now and trying to go for a big five, good top five. and. And of course, uh, a really big fish. So now it's going to be fishing over grass beds, backwaters, big flies, and fishing uh, whitefish patterns. And hopefully, we can get some serious fish here. Hope I have a nice fish following here. Oh, yeah. Really? Good one? Yeah. yeah, it's a 80 centimeter fish. Definitely. Should I be ready with net? Should you try <laughs> take it with the net? Or what did you... Should I be ready with the net? We have to convince it to bite first. Maybe you throw your fly here. Push fast. Fast, 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 fast. It's coming towards. Fast, fast, fast. That's good, that's good, that's good. Fish it, fish it. So just below it, so drop it, drop it. Yeah, it's just behind it. Oh yeah, I can see, now I can see it. 
this wasn't at all what we were expecting. This was supposed to be our hotspot as a river. So now we're switching place to the more upstream, where we hope we can find a, some active fish and hopefully one really big that's enough for today, today to get a one point. Uh, it's not working for us. We don't really know why. It's no pike weather. It's flat, calm. And there's really weather coming the next two days, so hopefully they turn on. Yeah. But we're gonna try another river. Yeah. We, we had some followers, but it was obvious that fish were really inactive. Yeah, so, so hopefully the other river is more productive. Let's get the boat up and uh, go to another river and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Calm weather for Niklas and Marcus, but that is not the case for Team Daiva. 485 centimeters on the top five after only four hours of fishing and the wind has picked up since they started fishing this morning. So the weather seems to be on their side. Yeah, so so we are in the river and we said already when, when we tested this, we think we need to, oop, <laughs> that was grass. We, we need to fish this uh, testing different tactics. But we said that going shallow, going for the grass, that would be the number one tactics. And it's good enough. So we decided to spend the afternoon in the same fashion. So we will go fishing shallow within the grass. So between uh, one meter, one and a half, up to let's say two, two and a half, something like that. So that would be the tactics for the afternoon. Nice wind we have, Anders. Yeah, it's a, wind is picking up. It's a southern wind and it's a, it's a right, quite pikey weather in, in fact. And, uh, and uh, we are back to the morning spot. Now we have wind here and uh, we'll try out the spots in different conditions now. This is not bad. I think this could be good for a big, big pike. They are, are not going to get spooked as easy as they was in the morning when it was total flat. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, super enthusiastic on this. Yeah, it feels like anything can happen. Anything can happen at any time because we know that the pikes are here. I mean, we, <clears throat> we, we caught a few during, during the fishing before lunch, quite a fair amount, and with a nice average size, I would say. So that means that they are, they are here in this grass. So let's just continue casting here, and, and I bet we catch something good during the afternoon. With 485 centimeters on the top five, Anders and Christian can fish for that really big fish with good confidence, but they have to watch out for Team Catch with Care, because they are not far behind. We had a really nice fish after. Just turned just beside the boat, followed the guy in picture, Andreas Bait, and it was a really nice fish. Was the fish Maybe we around 110, but it was fatter than the other one, so. It was a nice fish, for sure. Well needed at the moment also. Cool. Cool, 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 fish. This is the second fish on this edge here. That's super. Come on, team catch with care. We need to step up. Yeah, but this is upgrading top five. Oh, it's a, it's a fat one, not a long one. 89. Okay. Just lost that huge follower of mine. Uh, or lost it, didn't even buy it. Got this one right after. Maybe I would have preferred the bigger one, but still, hey, it's something. We would have quite slow after lunch, so well needed at the moment. Boom! Nice! Okay, so we're packing up for this part of the river, and we're gonna bring the boat up on the launch again, go to another boat launch, and start the fishing again. So we will probably lose like an hour, maybe 45 minutes of fishing, but we think we're worth it, because we have fish draw spots here, and we need to get new water. New waters on the way for Team Catch with Care, and so is the case for Team Headbanger, but their move is not as long. Okay, so now uh, we're changing to a smaller boat that's laying uh, beneath the, these uh, rapids. So we will just grab the most important stuff and uh, keep fishing. Here's the boat. We placed it here yesterday. Now we'll just flip it around and then push it out and do some serious damage to the scoreboard. 16 clickers so far for Marcus and Emanuel, and that is 16 more than what Team Neistroft have at the moment. But they're only looking for one big fish. Yeah, due to the fact that Danny has quite a lot of action compared to me, I also changed to the same lure, 30 cm predator, just in another color. Hopefully it will catch a big fish. I mean, we go all in, as we said in the beginning, for the big one because the top five is already quite good. I mean, 
if you have a good day here you can easily catch this top five but as you as you saw on the last episode we don't have a good day today but it can all change one fish can make this day to an amazing day so keep on fishing my friend and catch a big one in the last episode this lure gave me three nice actions one really really decent fish not a giant but i think it was like 95 two smaller ones i have a lot of faith in this lure at the moment i think um, the green belly and a nice slow wobble really hits the pike uh, we're still fishing the weeds we know several big fish have been caught here we know there have been fish caught here over 9.9 .9 kilos in the last couple days it's possible it's possible we just have to you know keep going wait for that one big strike big take a pike with confidence that's what we need to try that side a little bit just five casts just to get one fish i'm not sure if they're standing and still water here because then we should have fish over here at this bank oh that was a surprise can you grow up to be a 90 centimeter pike please i think we move so it doesn't oh look what happened here we need to change that one i saw that now that one went off okay we take this one away put another one on but i'm thinking that those other places upstream it's it's both of the places are like one anchor stop places so yeah but at least we can fish on fishes that we haven't cast on for the whole day so we need to go there and just try to fill the paper that's the only thing we can try to get to one more point yeah i mean if there's a lot of small packs there we can even go for the numbers we no can, we're not we go gonna catch no they had like 16 in four yeah hours. we had seven yeah in four no six now we have seven yeah they had 16 in four hours so but so that's four fish every hour and we would have to catch like six or seven every hour to beat that you never know yeah this time go a little bit bigger or this feels actually decent if it's not hooked funny everything is decent right now compared to what we have so <laughs> this is a decent fish man other side, other side, other side. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you ready yeah. It's a meter fish. No, 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 no. It's not. This, this, not. This is. About, Can you please? This is like, like eighty-five. No, no, no. Just say it's <laughs> like one ten. <laughs> Keep the mojo going. <laughs> Don't hate that. Well, that's one more. We need to keep them coming, Jacob. Okay, let's measure this one though, because this yeah. is a this is a measure fish. Yeah. You said this is like eighty fish. Eighty-five, I would say. Yeah. That, never mind. All right, this is this is a small one. Just uh, here, here. Just touch, touch. Perfect. Double trouble. Small one, but uh, you know, a pike is a pike, and the strike is a strike. So uh, yeah, this is a, a small. Oh, oh. This is food. This is maybe a 90 fish. Yeah. Let's check her. I, I'll take her. Yeah. 94 there. 94. I have it here. Perfect. Nice one. Yeah. First decent, yeah. you know, lengthwise. Yeah. Now you know, I'm having fun. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Team Gigar.nu are off with a great start of episode 2. And not only are they adding a fish to their top 5, they have also added 8 clickers which gives them the lead for the number point. Team Vision have now launched their boat and are ready to fish a new spot. So welcome back to Team Vision here. We uh, changed the river. Uh, as you can see up ahead we actually have uh, really fast water. So this is the first slack water or backwater or eddy or whatever you want to call it so uh, hopefully but the water level is quite low so we don't know if there's fish in this one but otherwise we're gonna fish uh, downstream here and uh, we were filming an episode of fly maniacs here uh, two weeks ago and we had a nice 114 centimeter fish and a few other ones so we took a risk to move let's we'll see what happens so we're having a like a really nice fast rapid up here so it's a lot of grayling and whitefish there this is like the first uh, slow moving water uh, in this lower stretch 
So what I think the fish is doing is they're going out in the stream hunting and then they're coming back to rest and also digest the food here. So we most likely are, because the hole is not really deep enough to have a lot of bait fish, but it's more of a place where they rest before they go and hunt again. So hopefully we have some big ladies in this hole resting for the evening hunt here. Yeah, fish. Oh, yeah. You were like surprised. Yes, I thought I thought it was bottom. Oh, oh, come around, come around, come around. Oh, no. oh, it's quite strong. You want to have net? Yep. Just a second. Uh, that may, might be our biggest so far. Ooh. Good hey. job. <laughs> I was really surprised because <laughs> nothing, nothing happened in Lemmy time. And 90. Okay. Really? Our biggest so far. Many teams had decided to change fishing spots in the first hour of episode 2 and for Marcus and Niklaus, the move paid off right away. Now Team Diva have made the same decision. The wind they were so happy about didn't give them one single pike, so now they have arrived at the new spot. Yes, Christian, this looks better. I think this was a good move, it was a proper move. At least from the looks of it, we have to try it of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But something happened with the, with, the, with the wind and potentially with the pressure in combination. So, so this looks a little bit more like the conditions we had this morning. So yes, it is. It does. Let, let's give it a try. Let's see. This is a nice place. Quite it big, is. Yeah. Quite yeah. big one. So you could easily get a few. And few, few we had nice some ones. some good fishing here during the the, the the test runs that we did. So I'm going to upgrade my bait size to a 25 centimeter sidekick shad because we know there are big pikes here and. It's just a matter of getting one pike up and grab the bait, so. Correct. So let's go for the big one. We just need a really nice pike. And then we have a good chance of, of taking the top five. When fishing is slow, there's a lot of things you can try. And what I'm trying right now is I'm, I'm, I'm taking a kind of a dark color because it's really dark outside. And the fishing is slow. So this one is, is hardly even visible at all, but it still produces the, the, the push wave so the fish can feel it but hardly see it and sometimes this is what what it takes when fishing is slow so i figured what the heck i give it a try good idea good idea oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. i have a pike bam ba dam bam it's not a big one but it's a pike it's a clicker it's a pike they are here and we are here isn't it so Shall I touch it for you? Yeah, please. Oh, oh, you yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very nice of you, mister. It was inhaling my 25 centimeter bait. Crazy fish. It counts. It counts? I it will counts. release her. It's not really what we are looking for, but nope. it counts. And I will put her back. Bye bye. <whistles> Fetch me a bigger one. There must be a big one here, Anders. Yeah. Nice. It's two o'clock. Uh, we just caught two more fish uh, on the first spot uh, after changing to the small boat. So that feels good, but still the big fish are missing. We're only catching the very smallest pike, which is a bit weird. We would have expected a better average on this stretch, but we hope that they're gonna wake up for an afternoon snack soon. Yeah. Yeah. Decent one. Net you can door. get the net. Yeah. Uh, it's not gonna be a big upgrade, but I think it's gonna be an upgrade. Yeah. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Finally, one more. Good bite. I thought it was like a little bit bigger than this, like 85, 90 I thought. But I think this will be our fifth approved pike. Wow, it's Let's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, the colors. In that. Very nice one. 81? Yeah. 81 centimeter. Nice. So now we have fished this uh, small part of the river with a small boat. We got three fish, uh, so that was good, but uh, only small ones. But I really thought we were going to catch some big one here. But uh, yeah, now we go up to the, to the big boat again. 
Quick turn for Team Headbanger who took 3 pike in the small boat before deciding to go back to the big boat. Their 21st fish of 81cm completes their top 5 and we now seem to have a battle for the number point between Team Headbanger and Team Gigger.nu. Oof! Yeah, f**k, stop there. Yeah, f**k, you missed it. That was a approval fish. Yeah. That was a really nice one. He was biting it after like 2 meters. Yeah, no, f**k. He took it again. Oh my god, what's wrong? Do you think that was a strike? Yeah, that was a really decent fish. I mean, it was really big. It was jumping exactly when the lure was hitting the water. And it was biting the lure after like two meters and I missed it. I cast on it again and it took it again, but it went off. We need that fish. <laughs> we really need that, need that fish. Now oh, I missed it again. No way, what the f What's wrong? We try our best now for like two hours, didn't catch anything. We lost a really nice pike, but... So we're gonna change area. We're gonna go to another place in this river to take up the boat and drive like five, 10 minutes to launch it in another place that we had some uh, good pre-fishing, but we were fishing without hooks. So uh, we'll see, we just wanna have that one more pike. It needs to be at least 86 centimeters, so we have a chance for the top five, but we'll see. We try our best. Let's go. Let's go. So we have three fish and we have four hours left. The big ones ha hasn't bite yet, so hopefully, they may be not bite today, but hopefully. So we will just keep going here. It's kind of a boring fishing, but if you don't do it, then you never know. If you move, you will never know. So we will get an answer shortly. Yeah, they're uh, about to move that big uh, ship. And uh, the, that boat is pushing a lot of water at the moment. Either it's good, maybe we have a couple of big ones on the move now. Or, uh, yeah, the lid is on, like you say in Swedish. <laughs> you never know good or bad but we have to go closer and try you never know what's gonna happen in the netherlands one day the current is backwards and one day you move ships with heavy motors so you get streaming points 100 percent there were fish under there yeah, yeah. but the uh, question if if they stand <laughs> there after they move that or if they like go on. This is like an element I haven't uh, <laughs> been, <laughs> been used to when fishing. Oh shit, here comes more. We, we're fishing a spot right now uh, with a lot of underwater structure. Uh, there is an edge that we are casting over with some uh, weeds on it. Uh, and it seems that uh, the pike hide in the weed and uh, when, you, when you pass with your bait over the head, uh, they just smash it. We've had some really, really nice takes. <laughs> oh, you had a follow. Yeah? Yeah, you had a follow. Yeah, it's, it's gone, it's gone, but you had a follow. Good one? Ah, I, I didn't see, I just saw choof. I would even say that finding underwater structure in a river is more important than in a lake, since the pike will seek shelter from the current. Uh, it's either on the side where the, where the water doesn't flow as fast, or it's behind uh, huge boulders or, or in, in the deep holes uh, in the river. So, so make sure you find structures uh, and fish around those uh, when you fish a river. And when you find places like that, you will often find bait fish as well. Uh, since bait fish, same, same thing goes there. Uh, they don't want to swim too much, uh, so they will find shelter. And when you find bait fish, you find the predators around lurking and just waiting to, to eat. Well, two o'clock report. Uh, it's getting a little bit warmer and uh, the pike are getting more active. So hopefully we will continue. I think we need roughly around 40 to get numbers today. So we still have a long way to go, but it's really fun. I don't know. I, I don't know. This might be approved. No, it's, it's feeling... Ah, I don't know. This is approved fish. This is approved fish. <coughs> yeah, perfect. This is approved fish. Perfect. They are hammering this. Totally hammering it. Jigga 19. 
because it's a little bit easier to hook and we're out for the number so but this thing can still take big pikes as well number 23 i think yeah yeah let's see how long she is i have it here i have 94 uh, approved 94 a couple more of these and a big one a little bit more numbers well we want everything right now but well one more is the start Team Jigarot Nu are back in the lead with 23 Pike. I think that most of us remember how Bjorn and Jacob ended up in Fly vs. Jerk from the beginning. Now you had the chance to do the same journey as Fly vs. Jerk Open Qualification will take place this summer. Go to tournaments.kanalgratis.se to find out more. Okay, so we just put the boat in on the new place and we're gonna be fishing here the rest of today. Not the same spot, but the same area. Uh, and hopefully catch uh, three fish to change our top five with. Hopefully two of them at least over one meter. Uh, that's our plan, yep. our goal. Of course. And that's also what we need to do to snatch a point today, I think. Three fish over meter. Oh, maybe. And this is the spot where we think we have the best chance to do that. But we have not very much time though, so we're gonna fish quite fast. It's a small one. Small. Hello. In the grass. Look at the fence. They are so big. Not a big one, but good strike. Big fence. Oh yo yo. Finally a pike. Bye bye. Team Powerboat Mercury decided to take up their boat and go to a different spot since they have only caught one small pike after lunch. But wrapping the boat was easier said than done. I love you, Pussy! Yeah! We didn't need a tractor this time. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why use a tractor we can have a blue rope? Yeah, okay. Lasse, let's take them all. We're uh, changing the spot now to Another one, we test fish with no hooks and we had several bites here, so <laughs> we're chasing that upgrade for the fill in the paper. I think we need like 86 centimeters to pass if it was team diver. What we uh, know. But, what we know for yeah, now. But we're going for a bigger fish. Yeah, one meter fish. Come on, Pasi. Let's do it. Let's take them all. Take them all. So we are back at the spot where Daniel got his followers and strikes. Still no fish. Tough day. But I said this before, I think. We can't complain because that's what we knew before we came here. It's one fish. We are really lucky five, so I think we are not really lucky, but we still have the chance for this one big fish, and that's what we will catch soon. Look at this spike territory. You can see the bushes. It's like an underwater forest. Yeah, look at this. Look in the water. Look at this wheat. It's like a forest. Underwater forest. Underwater forest. There must be pike in. I can't understand. I really can't understand that they are not biting. But still, one fish. You have to keep this in mind. Always keep this in mind. It's just one fish. We don't need 10. These type of days, just, you have to stay positive. It's the only way to, uh, to have fun. And you, know, you know what I said, right? Four o'clock is dinner bell time. It's like an alarm for the pike. It's I, like feeding. I, Always, when I'm on this water, if we have a tough day, then from four o'clock it starts going. You get, you get a couple strikes. So I relax for, for another half an hour. Yeah. Okay. I will catch a big one in the next half an hour. Okay. Yeah. Before the dinner bell. And I'll catch one at the dinner bell. An appetizer. Appetizer. All the boats that have been here are gone. I think. They just stopped and do siesta. Yeah, maybe they are back at four o'clock. <laughs> yeah. But then it's their fault because they are missing what bell? Dinner bell. Huh? Dinner bell time. The dinner bell. They're missing the dinner bell time. I cannot name the amount of times that four o'clock after four o'clock saved me. That's how you stay positive. Just find another possible way out of the non-biting period. While Dustin and Daniel wait for the dinner bell to ring in the Netherlands, that bell never seems to stop ringing for Team Gigar.new. 
Oh no, not or not? I don't think so. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Good job, Jacob. This might be. This, I'll take it. This might actually be yeah. upgrade. Pike number 29. 29. Hulken, they've smashed it today. Let's measure and see. Yep. Yeah, this is. Yeah, there, 82. 82. This one is getting hammered. Well, I can take a couple more. Yes, you can. Let's go. The fishing is really tough. Just a small pike and a couple of bites this afternoon, which means that we, we, we spend a lot of time in this place from, or close to the place from tomorrow, this morning. Uh, try to find a, a pike that will be active. Changing the bait or the sound of the bait could be really effective. So when I change to the laser distance with the paddle tail, which wiggles a lot from side to side and first cast, I get a strike. Nice movement in the water. Here it comes, side to side with the tail. Really a lot of belly flash also on the laser distance. This is a bigger one. This is a nice one. <laughs> is it a net? Holy Moses, what a take. Is it a net? It can be net fish, it can be net fish. Yep, it is, it is. It is a net fish. It's a long fish. It's a long fish. Could be a meter one. Oh. Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. Oh. Okay, nice. That's one. Nice, that's a kicker, that's a kicker. <gasps> that's a kicker! Nice, maybe. Yeah, there's the distance with a paddle tail. My god! My god! You are a, uh, you're on fire today Euphoria. as well, yeah. Like every day. That's a fat fish, look at that. That's a really fat one. Finally, after struggling many hours from nothing, but bang, we found a spot with really nice weed here. So uh, let's hope we can catch. We have a couple of hours left as a healthy fish. fish. Okay. And it's, uh, it's uh, 92. 92, all right. 92, 92. Nice. We don't need to weigh this one. Yep, yeah, no, let her go. And let's be quick, we now fishing. 92. Good. Ah, there she went. That helps us. Yeah. Right. That's a kicker. Because our smallest was 84, which means that it's 8 centimeters on yep. this. Yep. 8 centimeters added on 489. 485 is 493. Yeah. Okay. Closing up. Closing, Closing up in. to 500. Closing up. Closing in. The uh, change of river didn't really go as uh, planned. Uh, but. Uh, it gave us a little bit more energy and uh, at least we're fishing on uh, new waters and we had one fish. We thought River Day was going to be much much better for us but it didn't pay out, it didn't pay off at all so let's see. Uh, we have an hour and a half now, uh, a little bit more than an hour and a half and we have some good spots so we're looking for that big fish. So far we haven't found it so see what happens. Holding those thumbs for us. Better? Better? I don't know. I don't know, but I think it's hooked really badly. I'll net it anyway. Ah, it's a small one, but still. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Jacob, how long arms do you think I have? Um, Just reel it in. Yeah, sorry, man. Just back up, reel it in. I know. No, sorry to be angry, but I told you uh, like the third time, it. you know? Don't worry about it. In order to make something different, I fish now a 32 centimeter long grab. It's really heavy, pushes a lot of water. Maybe tired pike will attack it. It's a prototype. That's why the color is a bit weird. We made it our, ourselves. I like With the color. Three D printer is not bad, but it does not look like you know for to sell it. But maybe that will make the trick or the difference. Nice! Catch a big one, my friend. Please. Pushes so much water, it feels really heavy to retrieve. Oh, it's nice. No, it took the lure in front of the boat. Oh, man. And I lost it. Why? Why always happens to me? Ah! Hey, you see the bite marks? 
that was not a small fish. I mean, it was not obvious the big fish, but it was a fish. It was 90 plus, I think. Yeah, maybe it was 90 plus, yes. I think I just woke up again. We saw one boat get a fish. We just got a fish within five minutes. I think they're starting to get active. I just got a small bait, a small spinner bait. Maze runner should do the trick. I caught so many pike in this. This is by far my favorite pike bait at the moment. Steady retrieving, slowly. One or two times I just hit it real fast and then let it drop a bit. And then on these two blades, it acts like a parachute, falls down. See what works. Ooh, Good Holy strike. shit, dude. Shit. Oh, How big was it? I saw it. Uh, are you kidding me? How are big you was kidding it? me? Struck it two times. Oh, oh no. I saw the wave. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it gets my heart going. Oh man, what a strike. It's past four o'clock in the Netherlands and it's just like Daniel said, the pike will start eating them. But unfortunately, still no pike in the boat for Team Neistroft. There you go. Maybe this is a good one. Is it big? I would like to net this one, yes please. I come. I come. Oh, that's a fair it's, one. It's a long, it could be a kicker. It's a fair one. Here you go, here you go. Yeah, absolutely. Nice one. It was a nice one. I'm, I'm not sure. 92. Me neither. It was, but it was a good strike, so I wanted was to Was it 92? It. it was 92, wasn't it? That we are beating? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, it could be 92. All right. Every millimeter counts. <laughs> That was a bucky bucky bucky. It was a nice strike at least. Oh. Watch your hands. My hands. Okay. They are a disaster. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's longer. It's 97. Seven. 97. 97. 97. 97. That was a kicker. That was a kicker. That was a kicker. Improves us with five centimeters. Another upgrade on the top five board for Team Daiva as they are getting closer to that five meter mark. Now there is about one hour left on the first day and we have not seen any major changes on today's scoreboard. But we have seen last minute changes happen before. We're getting action. Getting action. Come on, man. I... This pike have to be kidding us, right? They're laughing at us. Yeah, fish. fish! The heavy one! Big one! Big one! Big one! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, just get it, just get it! One, man. That's your personal yes, best. One. Oh my god. That's your personal best? Oh my god. This is the one. Yeah. This is so heavy. I see it. It's, it's huge. Shit. It's huge, just 120 plus. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Let so it go, big. let it go. So Don't took, took it too hard, please. No, no, no. no. Oh, it's shit. 120 plus. Oh. Take care, take care, take care. It's so big. It's I'm so shaking. Big. It's the biggest one I've, uh, oh, I my. think it's one. I think this is my personal best. I think so too. It's 130 maybe. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is crazy. Good thing is it's a soft rod. We have time. We have time. Don't push it too hard, please. No, 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 no. My drag is really loose. It's so big. I saw it. It's crazy. I'm shaking, man. Me too. I'm shaking like hell. Maybe so get, the, maybe the get it out. The, the, huh? Maybe get it out. The, the, the anchor. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. What the f? 
Oh my god! Yes! Yes! What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Oh my god! Dude! One fifth! What? It's this is the biggest bike I've ever seen. <laughs> on the main tunnel. That's the biggest oh. bike I've ever seen. Yes! <gasps> Alright, let's measure it. Oh look, my. look at this. Oh my. Look at this fish. This is the pike that we were fishing for all day. And it was dinner time. <laughs> dinner bell. Oh my. <laughs> it slapped you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh <laughs> <laughs> my friend. What, what the f is this, man? I can't believe it. Oh my god. 128. 128? 128. My personal best. <laughs> Yes! Ooh, let's let's weigh it. <laughs> One meter twenty-eight. Personal best bike. This is the craziest fish ever then. 128 on a small spinnerbait, my favorite spinnerbait, the maze runner. Oh my god. Alright, let's measure it. Let's weigh it fast. We zero it. Zero. Fifteen, sixteen, fifteen point eight, fifteen point eight kilos. Approved. Fifteen point eight kilos. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have to get her back. <laughs> On the main side. <laughs> Mate. Oh. I love you. Your <laughs> first look best. Hey. Hump fly versus jerk. 15.8 kilograms. I think, I don't think, I know, except anyone else caught a bigger one today, it's the all time record of fly versus jerk. Yes. All right, so this is what you look like after a 128 personal best bike. Ah, this is the magic, this is the weapon that did it. The maze runner, the predator, my favorite one. And the funny thing is, I call my personal best on this one. Dustin did as well, 125. So it's definitely a big pike magnet with a, like it's a small lure with a lot of packing power. I already explained the action, how you fish it. This pike proves it works. I'm, I'm still out of words. And I think tonight when I look back at the photos, it's gonna hit again. <laughs> look at that guy over there. I'm so <laughs> happy that's so crazy hey all this oh, pain the whole day missing pikes and uh, no i'm i'm about to cry no i'm not but i'm close to that's so great fucking hell nice then yeah yeah ladies and gentlemen for the third year in a row we have a new big fish record as this bike is approved at 15.8 kilos Huge congratulations to Daniel Weyers to his new personal best and I think it's safe to say congratulations to Team Neistroft to the Big Fish Point of day one. W what time was the dinner bell exactly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was... The big one's a bit later so it was exactly when you said. <laughs> yeah, we, we're running out of time. We uh, did a gamble to go to some other spot. We ramp up the boat and went further down and uh, we are in small channels and normally it's lots of fish and we went for numbers but it's not so many fish around at, at least they don't bite and uh, we have only caught four fish lose two and, and uh, it's tough but we're fighting and fighting and fighting we never give up so uh, hopefully we catch some nice fish we're fighting Come on. Of course. I'm stuck. I'm stuck with the line. Ooh. Yeah. Good job. Hey. A big fish. Nice fish. We fought hard for that one. It's number 20 at least. Yeah, of course. Ah, but it's 94. 94. 94. 94. Nice. Oh, good job. We fought hard for this one, didn't we? We did. At least it came something. Yeah, yeah. but you did good. 
Okay. You, you switched to a bigger bait and uh, Need to do went something. for for a nicer fish. So. But hey, cool. it's number 20 of today. Yeah, cool. She's going down. Bye-bye. <laughs> 50 minutes. Yeah, take this one. Oh, it's still uh, some light. Now we're fishing uh, like the edge of the river and it's like four meter deep and uh, we have bream everywhere and probably some pike standing close by. But uh, we're fishing quite fast now on some active fish because time is running out. We can't do the slow big fish game <laughs> at the moment. So we will uh, run this stretch up uh, until time ends. Then we have done everything we could today. Yep, yep. it's a nice one. Uh, not, maybe not that But it's a fish. Yeah, uh, it's not that big. Yeah, but we measure. Yeah, it was just a super nice strike. On the big? No, on the 35. Keep, keep on casting, I fix. Well, I changed to a zombie perch, catfish 35, because my natural perch died. Okay, it's just a 73. Okay, <laughs> small little fat one. Back she goes. Okay, a few minutes left. Maybe we can fill the paper at least, but we need we need uh, two more better ones. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if we fill the paper or not. First time fishing this color, it works as well. Unfortunately, 73 centimeters is too small to make it to the top five since the minimum length is 75 centimeters. Ooh. Ooh. No, no. Yeah, you have it, have it, have it. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Yeah. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so crazy. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, come on. <laughs> you was, you was watching was, me, right? It was by the boat for like 10 seconds. Yeah. Uh, there was weed on the lure and I was just playing with it, playing with it, playing with it. And he said, yeah, I have a fish. But he didn't, so, and then I was looking back, it's still there. Switched the hook in a couple of times, boom. Did I actually have to tell you? Did I have it? I didn't yeah. feel it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Number 26. Seven, seven. Well, approved fish number five. Not the size we're looking for, but it's a click. So it's a fish number 25, approved fish number five. Sorry, sorry. Is it, is it a net? Sorry, sorry. I don't know. What the freaking hell is this? It's taking line. All right. Is this the one we are looking for? Or have you hooked the salmon or? Could be a false hook also. Yeah. Salmon. Let's see, let's see. It feels quite heavy, honestly. Right. And it actually pulls line, so let's find out. Let me let me lead you touch it. Okay, touch. But it's, it actually is a nice one. It's actually a nice fish. Maybe we should measure it. Yeah, yeah, we can measure that. That could be a that could be a could better be one. A kicker. Actually, it could. Yeah. Hold on to it. As always, it's not that bad actually. No, it's not. It's a good you fish. take you take the hand. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I had it. Had it. Okay. Yeah. Let me know when. No. One or two. One or two. That's a kicker. Oh! Fantastic! Woohoo! Good fisting. Oh, 102. Look at those fish. They're amazing. And the and the blue. What's in the blue again? Pink belly UV. All right. Lazy Chad. My new favorite. And nevertheless, Anders, we have done our very best. If somebody beats us, it's... Then they are better then, uh, than us. It's nothing to say about. Marcus, we have one hour left to turn this thing around. Fishing is slow now. You would need to step up or catch one really big one. 
We have the possibilities to do both, I think. You get the net, Marcus. Yeah. Oh, this is a decent size. Nice, finally. Took a while. I'm not sure this is gonna help us much, but it feels good. <laughs> and this is 85. 85 centimeter, nice. I have no clue though. No, it's not that big. Whoa, that is strong. <laughs> crazy. Might be biggest today though. Uh, Can you take the net? Okay. That was crazy. Well that was crazy. Oh, that was scared. It's not that big, but it was strong was as hell. Leading with that current, of course, but ah. Uh, 91 centimeter. Of course, Hulken did it again. Really nice, number 32. Uh, hopefully this will be enough, we don't know, but we have a couple more minutes to fish. There was a really fun jump, do you see that? And it went up, then down. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> really nice, really nice. Number 32. A couple more though, a couple of more. Here. Good. We have it. This one is 86. Bye bye. Okay, two minutes to go. Let's take them. Ooh. That's slippery. Whew. Oh, I have one. Yeah, no, lost it. No. Take it again. Okay, last cast of the episode two. Let's take it, Roman. The big one. Yeah. We'll try. Stuck on the last cast. Okay, it's over. Six o'clock. Oi, oi, oi. Good job, man. Yeah, good job. Did what we could. Of course, always. River day is over and it's time to call the teams and hand out the points. So it's Marcus from Team Vision. Uh, we have total seven fish. Our top five is uh, 260. And the biggest fish is around four and a half kilo. Victor from uh, Team Leech Gator, total fish of uh, 4 and 363 centimeter and biggest fish 8.16 kilo. Uh, this is uh, from uh, Team uh, Power Boat, Mercury, Posse. So we had a really terrible afternoon. We caught only one small fish, so our total is 7 fish. Biggest 9.19 and uh, top 5 is 401. Okay, this is uh, Team Catch with Care. Uh, we really fight, fight hard, but uh, we ended up 22 fish, total uh, of the top 5, 476, and the biggest still 7.3. This is Marcus from uh, Team Headbanger. We got uh, 23 fish in total. Our top five is 451 and we got no big fish. This is Anders Kras, Team Diver. We have the total number of 25 fish. The biggest fish, 8.12. And the total on top five is 506. Hello, this is Bjorn from uh, Team Team Jigar. Uh, we have a total number of 33 pikes. <laughs> wow. But we didn't manage to catch a big one, so that's only 4 kilos and a total number of 442. This is Dustin from Team Stroft Nace. We had a really, really tough day. Um, we managed to catch three pike, at, but it just one make it on the top five. And we have a total length of 128. Uh, the biggest fish is 15.8 kilograms. Oh, wow. uh, congrats, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. That's crazy fish. Good job. Thank you, guys. Have a good All one. Bye-bye. Right. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. Day one of Fly vs. Jerk is over, and once again, it's an episode that will go down in the history books. For the third year in a row, we have a new Fly vs. Jerk record for the biggest fish, and now it's Daniel Weyers from Team Neistroft, who is on top of the throne with a beast of 15.8 kilos.
This is the true proof that the fish of your dreams can appear at any time, especially if the fishing is slow. Dustin and Daniel will enter day 2 with 1 point along with Team Gigarat Nu who took home the number point and Team Daiva who collected a whooping 506 centimeters on their top 5. I'm so looking forward to see the episode 2 of Fly vs. Jerk now. 15.8 kilos! 128. <laughs> At least one point. <laughs> yes! So no team had got two points. Yeah. So yeah. it's still wide open. You can yeah. Know. Whoa! One point! We stole <laughs> one point! <laughs> now we have to go for an even bigger we one. We thought last year was big. But hey, yeah, 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 hey yeah, this yeah, is fantastic. fantastic. Now we have a new challenge. Now we have a new Over challenge. Over 16 kilos. You know any places where 20 kilo fish swims? Yeah. I'm, I'm planning next year. <laughs> Let's get a drink. Let's get some food. Let's get ready for tomorrow. Yes, and thank you for cheering for us, for <gasps> the likes, for the subscribes. So do it again, please. And we see you in the next episode. Goodbye. What a first day of Fly vs. Jerk, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 2 is over for now, but there's still four banging episodes to go before we can crown a new champion to this amazing pike fishing tournament. Next week we will be back with episode 3 as the teams have new challenges to face and my name is Mille Pettersson. See you next Friday. Yes man, that was nice. Hey, you have to clean my boat. It's f***ing shit now after this fish. <laughs>